Why can't I get up there? I can I can jump to other high places, but not that. They speak to animals. What? Okay. You don't speak to animals? I thought that was just a normal thing to do. Uh, I know that we don't get on the politics on your channel because of the fact that politics is so just all over the place. You're you're, cut, you're like cutting out. I cannot hear you. I'm cutting out. You were there, yeah. Oh, I was saying. Um, I understand that you don't like to keep politics on your channel, and for reasons why. Yeah. But I can't. I can't not laugh at Mark Hamill calling Joe Biden Joby One Kenobi. Oh God! Just fucking die of cringe, ever. right? It's the stupidest thing ever. Joby One Kenobi. I, I replied to it with a gif of that scene. Oh no, we got a fucking minigun! Whether you voted for Joe Biden or Donald Trump last election, you gotta admit, Joe B. Wooden Kenobi is a fucking stupid... It's cringe as hell. Mark Hamill, you're a dork. See a single thing. Okay. Let's check this body of water for something. Nope, nothing. Evian, why do you have to have your account locked? I want to retweet that. If you're wondering where I am with video games right now, my three year old ran to me, bawling his eyes out that his brother hit him on Minecraft. He has one heart left. <laughs> I love the Rays. They're such good people. Yeah. What is this? A Tom and Jerry anime? What? Why does she have her account lock? I honestly don't know. I think she just got tired of certain people. I know that she's okay with blocking people who get on her nerves, but I think that, like, there was... Or maybe it's, like, a privacy thing. Or maybe one of those... Errors went around mass reporting everybody, so all of us based furries had to lock our accounts, and then she just never unlocked it. I don't know. Mm. But, whatever her reason why, that's her business. I'm just sad that I can't retweet her stuff because her thing is locked. Yeah, I had to do it. I had to do it, yeah. I had no choice. It, 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 he was coming at you. It's like Jimbo told the kids in the first episode of South Park. Look out, it's coming right for us. Classic. Classic. <sighs> Democrats have passed a lot of laws to keep us from hunting. Democrats piss me off! Same, Cartman. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I love the story of um, how South Park got made into a Comedy Central show. Do you know the old story? I honestly do not know. Great. So originally, Matt Stone, uh, or maybe it was Trey Parker. One of the two guys was making raunchy e cards that you could send people in an email. Sounds like something they would do. Saying, saying douchey things to each other. Yeah. Um, and then from that, it evolved into Flash animations. There was Santa Claus versus Jesus. And you can't even play that video on anymore on your streams or anything just because of the fact that it's got the Mortal Kombat song. Mm. Uh, and then there was Jesus versus Satan. And then everybody kind of forgot about it. Uh, and a couple of years later, some writer at Comedy Central had gone before and was like, I have this idea for a TV show. And he pitched them South Park. And Trey Parker saw it and he was like, hey, wait, that's that that's our stuff. This is our show. You can make this show, but we need to be on this. I can prove it. We have the have the old Flash cartoon. Mm. Labor of love, you are my labor of love, blood and my blood and sweat, their blood for you, the goat. The goat. Bear in mind, people who are watching this stream in 2024, that there was once a time when the goat was not the acronym for the greatest of all time. This game came out before that. This was what, 20... 2014? Yeah, this was definitely before people started calling everything the GOAT. Yeah, back then you had to be something special to be the GOAT, like, like Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. That dude was ridiculously good at hockey. Like, literally better than anybody else who's ever played the game at hockey. He pushed the human limit. False idols, pagan men wishes to remind you that all religious activities have been declared crimes against the crown. The royal army will detain citizens congregating at Chortens, Manny Wheels, Bell Towers, or any other former place of worship. Failure to comply with the instructions of the Royal Army soldiers in this situation will be met with force, display of violence against our public defenders, or will not be tolerated. May, may Pagan's light shine upon you all, the Ministry of Public Affairs and Social Harmony. Okay. Right. Yeah, Social Harmony. Banning religion is Social Harmony. Yeah, huh? You were right. This guy, dude's a total dick potato. Yep, he 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 really is. Wait, did he ban religion because his name is pagan? Maybe. <laughs> Don't maybe that. That was stupid. <laughs> okay, fine then. No. <laughs> Cringe at it. I don't know where the fucking mask is. Freaking Sony, man. What are they doing? What are they doing? I grew up with your consoles. I want to like you. Stop it. 
they they did the they did the hell divers thing. And this like, is also require PSN accounts in order for you to play it. This statement also applies to Nintendo. Yeah, I, I love Nintendo's games. I hate Nintendo as a company. Yep, you same. Don't, you don't want people to pirate N sixty four games? How what about you like do a limited run of more N sixty fours and the games? I, or I'm sure people would buy that. I'm sure people would love that. Or or like put a compil put compilations together. Put them on sale. Yeah, dude. No, none of this uh, digital ownership crap. We as gamers are done with the digital ownership crap. It's not the fact that it's a digital copy of the game that pisses us off. It's the fact that you require us to have internet, for one, which not everybody has even here in 2024. Uh, for two, you require us to make an account that you can log the activity on anytime someone does anything on that account. And if someone hacks that network, you're, that, that everybody who signed up is fucking screwed, like what happened on the PS3. Just saying. Uh, and, and then, on top of that, if you read all the and li license user agreements and stuff, um, some of them even say that they have the right to revoke the game from you at any given point. And I'm like, that's that's what tears me. Yeah, that's one, uh, one big reason, that kind of shit's one big reason why I support physical media so hard. And try to get other people to. Why does a video game company need to give a shit about my opinion about anything? If I say the wrong word while I'm playing a video game in my house using my internet that I pay for, and I bought the game with my money that I worked to earn, you know, all this shit, who is the video game company to tell me that I can't play the game anymore because I'm a bad person? It seems like the company that made Helldivers 2 is like, yeah, this this Sony thing was a terrible idea. Now, which should have been obvious. And apparently it wasn't. Uh, okay, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get to this mask. Sony's been falling off for a while. Uh, I remember when they said that they weren't going to allow any more sexualized content in their video games, and then they had to backtrack that when they realized that Capcom makes the Devil May Cry series. Let's go into that fog and, and go get uh, another tower. People are shoebill posting, and it's making me go, man, I miss dodo birds. Oh. Didn't they go extinct long before any of us were alive? Yeah, but we still have the memories, you know. Of the things we've never actually seen, right. It could be quiet. You've seen Alice in Wonderland. Although, didn't they just... Aren't they, like, working on bringing some species back from extinction or something? Possibly. I, I heard know. about that. <laughs> and I was like, that's some Jurassic Park type shit. You guys are going to make a island of uh, fucking, fucking dinosaurs, and the only solution is going to be get the fuck off the island. Give the dinosaurs their own island. Maybe the island will get hit by a meteor, and then the mammals will evolve from the remains. And then we'll get all kinds of new, weird mammalian creatures to go, aww, at when people retweet them. You know what I never hear anyone talk about anymore? Koalas. I never see insects anymore from outside. Like, what is that? I used to dodge a flyer or a mosquito or a bee here and there, but it's just like... 
Maybe it's because I live in a city, but I never see bugs anymore. Outside, and then when they get inside, I'm like, what the fuck? Do you still exist? Do you still around? Living in she's got to have some kind of advantage, right? Um, what's an advantage of living in the city? Uh, one advantage of living in the city is that uh, if you go to a strip club, only about a tenth of the chicks there are ugly as fuck. I have never been to a strip club, so I wouldn't know. It's not as fun as it sounds. Like, yeah, there's new girls, but like after you've been there and done that, it's like, there's no point. It, at that point, it's just a bar. I'm not one of those dudes It's like, you've seen one titty, you've seen them all. Don't, don't uh, accuse me of being there, but... No. It's like, the novelty wears off really fast. Yeah, it's like... And I absolutely cannot stand the music that they play. Like, I've seen old, old movies and stuff where they'll, like, strip to the modern rock and roll of the time of the 80s. And that sounds good to me. I gotta wonder if people in the 80s ever got to think of that music just always playing. Yeah. It's like when I hear someone say that they like Nirvana or Backstreet Boys. Well, not Nirvana, because I like Nirvana, but I hear someone say... I never that cared like, for Nirvana. Like, there's other... Other, uh grunge that I do like like fucking Alice in Chains is awesome is it the voice is it Kurt's voice I don't know I just always found him boring I feel like they might have made better music if they had evolved as a band but Kurt had to go and kill himself because he felt guilty about becoming famous which is dumb, not gonna lie. I, I understand his sentiment, but that's like the worst way to deal with that problem. Like at that point, what I would have done if I was in Kurt's shoes is I would have said, you know what, I love making music with my friends, but I'm stepping down from music. I'm just gonna live my life as a private US citizen. If you see me on the streets and recognize me, I might say hi. That's what I would have done. There are some people who say that uh, Courtney Love actually hired someone to kill him and they could look like a suicide. Yeah, I've heard that claim before. I have no fucking clue if there's any truth to it, but I've heard that claim before. some bands I hear people say they like them and I'm like, what? Because I grew up in the 90s and those were the bands that everybody fucking hated. Well, and not everybody, but it was like there was the there was the sheeple that thought it was the best music in the world and made it up. And, and much like now, much like today's music industry. And then there were the the not I guess that's what you would call the face the woke of today. Um, there was the free thinkers who were like, this music's kind of gay, Mr. Marsh. How the fuck do I get further up? Icon. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. You're supposed to grapple it with a grappling hook.
Okay, I'm gonna... Somehow I don't think that's how you're supposed to get up there. Like, if it works, it works, but I'm just saying, I don't think that's the intended method. It worked! Cool, now what? Played that message because you're in the middle of climbing the tower. Ouch. Let's be honest. Pagan's government already knows what's going on. They probably got like drones and stuff, and the only reason that you're not getting shot right now is they want to give you the illusion that you're saving the day. Yeah, probably. I honestly don't know. I don't know how the fuck this game is supposed to end because I've never beaten it. I've only ever played it when I'm doing it for... For stream? Yeah, for Let's Plays. Uh, I still need to upload that Super Animal mod. I'm glad you liked how that turned out. Yeah, it was really funny. I liked it. Even though the whole video is you bagging on me for 45 minutes. I did a lot of that, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Um, hi. My buddy Doom is playing Far Cry. Um, just joined another as a guest. I don't know how long you're planning on going for, Josh. Uh, I don't know either. I'm, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna figure out how to. Fuck, I'm supposed to finish. We climb this tower. Yeah. Yeah, no, it really seems to me like you're supposed to have a grappling hook and that's how you're supposed to get up there. Yeah, but I don't remember how to fucking use my grappling hook. It's a good thing I'm at my computer. Oh. I figured out how to do it and I fucking over jumped. God damn it. Okay, at least I finally figured out how to fucking... All you have to do is give up and we promise we won't kill you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Come quietly, we'll spare your life. All you have to do 
is just walk away and there will be an end to the horror. I need to watch that movie again. And if you believe that, I've got a bridge to sell you in New York. <laughs> I need to watch that movie again. Fucking The Road Warrior. The movie's good as fuck. I've never seen The Road Warrior. Oh my god, it's awesome. It's the second That's Mad Max the movie. The story of my life. I hear someone say it's such a good movie. I tell them I've never seen the movie. And they're like, oh, it's such a good movie. You have to see it. Yeah, I'll show it to you someday. It's uh, it's Mad Max, the second Mad Max film. I haven't seen any of the Mad Maxes. I've seen all four. There's a lot of movies that I haven't seen that I need to see that are culturally significant, but I never got around to watching. I've never seen Pulp Fiction. I've never seen Kill Bill. I've never seen The Godfather. Pulp Fiction's great. You've never seen Aladdin of the Lion King. What the fuck, Father? I don't know. So, uh, climb in the tower. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, here, here. This is the next part to climb. This reminds me of the time I was watching. Fellow streamer Starkonius played Jump King plus the LP. There's Jump where King, I climb next. One of those rage inducing games. Uh, it doesn't control well. Even, it, it takes a long time to get that the hang of. And every mistake sets you back really far. There you go, grapple hook. I knew I was onto something. We just needed the right button. It reminds me of uh, getting to the spires in Assassin's Creed. Yeah. They play a lot. This game, these series in Assassin's Creed play a lot alike. The thing I like about Assassin's Creed is no matter how big of a group you end up fighting, none of them are going to come at you at the same time as another one. You're always going to be able to dodge one dude. They all kind of just circle around like it's an action movie. No, well, this isn't like that. <laughs> You'll have multiple no, 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 people. This is like four or five dudes gutting you down at once. Yeah. No one has guns to Assassin's Creed either, which gives me an advantage, because I'm not good at getting shot. That's wrong. I'm very good at getting shot. I'm not good at avoiding getting shot. Can't say the same about real life. I've never been shot in real life. Okay, let's do this one last thing, if I can... Do it in a fairly timely manner without getting my ass handed to me. What, what on earth was that? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's the sound coming from my boyfriend's game. He's playing um, Elysium Tales. I have not played that. Is that any good? Uh, I wouldn't know. I've never played it. Aiden Chronicles. Aiden Chronicles, not Elysium oh. Tales. I get them confused because they're both RPGs with weird names that start with letter E. I think, I think that guy set on fire because he had ammo on him. And that ammo lit up. That's what I think. Is that how it works? If I don't know. It shoots you, you just ignite. Uh, I, I, I mean, if it's explosive ammo, maybe. He lit up like he was covered in gasoline before you shot him. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 